rebuilding. A catastrophic failure, a new start. Physically, mentally, our careers, our businesses. Step back, first step, next step. The driver in me just wants to get it done tomorrow. We'll do this, do that, let's move this, where are we at with this? You build some confidence, build some self-esteem, start to feel better about yourself. The Silverback Blueprint Podcast, a show for men over 40. We focus on getting stronger, staying motivated, building discipline, creating a community, and becoming truly happy. Hey guys, welcome back to the Silverback Blueprint Podcast, episode number 19. I want to talk about today, I'm like, again, every time I do the little early beginning announcement of the episode, my voice is all crackly and stuff like that. I don't know what it is. I must, need, I must need a mint or I have to figure out what the pros do. Today I want to talk about, because I get asked this often, and it kind of is a cool subject that's going to sort of wrap up or, or connect a lot of the different podcasts we've done. But basically I want to talk about the, the reason why I created Hostile and why I think Hostile is where it's at now um, and what's caused some of that. And uh, yeah, I just want to go from there. Uh, so we talked earlier on, on many episodes or podcasts where we talk about, uh, you know, um, the circle of five, um, not going at things alone, being part of something. We'll do more for others' expectations than we'll do for our own. But at the same time, you know, we feel alone and we feel kind of lost after a certain point, especially when we're, you know, if we're over 40 and we feel we haven't hit our stride or we're not where we want to be in life, right? We start to get this sense of, hey, I'm halfway through. Uh, there's things I really want to do, uh, I, you know, or we're just unhappy and we're, we're not fulfilled and we know we have to make some changes, right? Going back to what our gut tells us. Um, so that's the way Hostile sort of came together was out of... Uh, a situation of frustration for me. I talked on some earlier podcasts, maybe even the first one, about how at the time I had a bunch of businesses going, a, a chain of uh, supplement retail stores going, and we'd grown really well, and things were going really well, and then just everything imploded on me. And you know, I made some bad decisions. Uh, a couple of things just didn't work out. You know, the perfect storm for whatever reason. Um, you know, I, I was down to like one location, and, and I just had to figure out what the hell I was going to do. And start to look at what were some of the you know things I think that I had to change to make a difference to to come out of that. So obviously, as I talked about earlier, it was my fitness, my health. I was almost 400 pounds. I was super unhealthy, super stressed, and no one makes great decisions uh, under those circumstances. No one can maintain great leadership. Uh, no one's gonna have the energy to want to get up every morning to just kick the shit out of the out of the day and get things done and stuff because you need to be in a certain place mentally and physically to do that. You need to be uh, strong mentally. You need to be strong physically. You need to have energy. You need to be positive. And I'd lost all those things, right? And uh, I knew I had to get them back. And that's how I started getting back into training. And I knew, you know, uh, workouts were going to be the one thing. But, you know, that's where as things developed and I saw improvement, I felt improvement, others around me saw improvement. Um, you know, things started to morph, things started to move towards, you know, that day when I decided to do that uh, MMA style workout that I saw in the Ultimate Fighter uh, that took me like, you know, eight minutes and I was on my ass. I, I didn't do that with that whole, hey, I'm going to build a gym out of this and hopefully build a brand that caters to guys and, and, you know, men and women, but, you know, on this podcast, guys over 40 rebuilding their lives. None of those things were in my thought process at the time. Uh, you know, all it was was, oh my God, I, I'm dying here and I, I want to I get healthier and I want to feel better. And this workout just devastated me, but there was something magical about it and I want more of it. Um, you know, that's where I was at that point. Now, looking forward now, eight years later, uh, we have a great facility. We have, uh, you know, the great programs that we do. Uh, we're helping lots of guys and girls. We're helping lots of people rebuild their lives. It's motivating. It's challenging. It keeps me super accountable overall. Um, so it's, it's sort of like all those things that we've talked about sort of happen here. And it's kind of like the HQ for it, I guess I look at it to the point where, you know, people come in and, and I know they're coming in in search of a better circle, a better group to hang out with or a circle of influence that's going to be in a positive manner. They come in for some leadership. They come in to be coached. They come in, you know, exhausted and tired and, and frustrated and angry. Um, and, and they're just looking for a place to help, a place to, uh, to rebuild and, and to connect so they don't feel alone, that they're not the only ones going through this. You know, so the, it just naturally evolved as we started doing this that the majority of my clientele is over 40 years old. 
right? It's because it was just something happening, right? And it was spreading and, and that kind of thing. And, and, you know, we're always looking to improve and, you know, help more people and, and get the goals that they want and, and make them, you know, stronger and tougher and increase their self-esteem and their, their confidence level, right? So that's really what hostiles become. And I want to continue to see it to grow to that is that it becomes that place where we're going to help fix you. We're going to help repair you. We're going to help make you better. We're going to help, you know, bring out the person inside that you truly want to be. And to me, that's super exciting. That's super motivating, incredibly fulfilling as a coach, uh, incredibly fulfilling as just a, a, a human being that wants to know that your life work is starting to, is impacting people and helping people. Um, I, there's no better feeling than when I see someone come in that I can see in 30 days is feeling better and moving better. You know, when someone comes up and they've lost 30 pounds and, you know, they never thought they could do it, you know, uh, that's so exciting. You know, we, we videotape people hitting PRs on their lifts all the time. Uh, it's just, it's the success. It's, it's really, you know, a breeding ground to rebuild increase confidence and become more successful and help people you know start to go towards building and creating that life that they truly truly want to truly be happy right to be tougher to handle the tough situations to be strong to be able to weather out the storms but also to become more mature physically mentally to appreciate when they do that right it's one there's a lot of people out there that don't appreciate all the good things they have as well too because they're focused in on that one or two things that really bothers them and that's normal but every once in a while we want to be able to sit back and take it all in and be appreciative for what we do have right we live in a time where it's just incredible things happening we live in a country where you know you're free and then you can have what you want but listen you've got to fucking go and work for it though you've got to put the effort in right and it's in the striving going through the work, putting yourself through the workouts, uh, getting better at doing the things that you're trying to you know, get better at that builds that confidence and builds that self-esteem and, and builds that sense of accomplishment. And, and you know, that's really you know, what I spent the last couple of years specifically. Once we kind of knew a few years back we were sort of hitting this and this is where we were going and I, I, I was excited by it and I was motivated by it, that's what the last couple of years have really been about is to, you know, create this place, create this community and this tribe where men and women can come in and feel safe, be challenged and become successful and get better and better and, and go on to do crazy things, things they thought they would never be able to do or things they haven't done in a long time. Nothing excites me more than when someone tells me that they just booked this trip to go here and they've always wanted to go there. Or someone's telling me they're playing ball better than they've played in forever. Or they're just sitting there and you know, you could just see that they're happy or you see it in their eyes, right? You know, we get emails from those same people. We get emails from their family thanking us because it's such a difference at home, right? It's incredible. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's rewarding. I love it. And I want to keep, you know, building on that. I want to keep creating uh, an experience for, for people over 40 just to keep improving and to realize that, you know what, it's never too late. Because that's the other thing, too, I think that scares the shit out of us. Once we hit this midlife, you know, here the midlife crisis and stuff, once we hit that, we get this crazy realization of mortality and fear that, you know, we're not going to be able, we're running out of time. And that's bullshit, right? It really, really is, right? The best time to plant the tree was 30 years ago. The second best time is right now. I think that's an old ancient Japanese proverb and stuff, but it's, it's so true, right? So yeah, you sit there and become aware that, hey, if I'd have done this 10 years ago, look where I'd be now. But you know, let that be fleeting enough just to motivate you to fucking plant that tree today to start making those changes so that in five years from now, in five months from now, in five weeks from now, you're in a better place and you're on your way to doing things. And as you do things and you start doing more positive things and you become more fulfilled, doors will open that you never even thought that were there. And again, I get excited talking about this because that's been my experience. And the more I focus on that when I'm looking at building hostile and, and what we're doing, the more doors open and the more opportunities happen, right? That wouldn't have been there if eight years ago, I just would have said, fuck it and gone on to something else or said, fuck it and not change anything and maybe drink myself to death or fucking, you know, who knows, right? That kind of stuff or just make everybody even more miserable around me and stuff, right? So at the end of the day, that one workout, that conscious decision that I had to just take, you know, take matters in my own hands and start just working out and just, you know, get that eight minutes in, that one thing eight years ago 
right? Fast forward has led us to a situation now where we've got a great facility. We have a great community of people, uh, of members and clients, and a great group of staff that work for us. And just part of a really, really cool thing that, you know, makes me, you know, nine out of ten times jump out of bed in the morning. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm human too. We have off days, right? But those off days, right, are quickly turned around because it's a, it's a chance to sit back and take an inventory of all the good things that are happening. And also look back and say, hey, listen, this may be a shitty day today, but how did I get out of all those shitty days in the past? Took action, stood up, did something. And sometimes it's as simple as jumping out of bed, rolling out of bed, and pounding out 30 push-ups. That blood flow, the energy, all the adrenaline going, stuff like that, it changes things. It just motivates that you want to do it. And it's so simple, right? But again, trying to go, on it, go at it on our own, alone, it's really, really hard. Right? But knowing that there's some place out there that you can do that with a group of people that are like-minded, knowing that you can do it somewhere that's safe, that you're not going to get taken advantage of and you're not going to be made fun of. I mean, listen, we're still fucking, we're still seven years old inside sometimes and we don't want to be made fun of. We don't want people laughing at us, right? And, and I see that when people sometimes come in, they're worried about, well, I'm worried about what people are going to think when I'm working out and I can't do it. And I'm like, look, they're not even going to fucking notice you because they're going to be in their corner struggling to get their sets and reps out as well too. And if anything, in this type of environment here at Hostile, when we see there's new people out there and I see it on the floor all the time, we'll have our members that have been with us for six months, six years, six weeks, six days going over and saying something encouraging to the new people. That is fantastic. To me, that's super powerful to know that we're creating that kind of thing where people want to go out of their way just to give someone a tap on the shoulder and tell them, you got this, right? It's crazy. It's awesome. And that's really where you know, I'm pretty proud of what we're doing at Hostile, and I'm excited to see what happens in six months and in six years where this goes. And I'm super honored to have people follow us. I'm super honored to have people take part in our journey. I'm super, I'm super honored to have you guys listening uh, because it just, a, it just tells me I'm on, we're onto something and I'm doing something that makes a difference. So it's very fulfilling, but also it makes me more accountable. It makes me realize that there's people out there waiting for the next podcast. There's people out there waiting for a great workout. There's people out there waiting to come in and have a chance to do a great workout and hang out with some people. And you know what? Sometimes that's more than enough to get us out of bed when we don't want to get out of bed because there's so much waiting for us and relying on us that, you know, we have some responsibilities to take care of. So uh, enough of that mushy stuff. Uh, guys, uh, head over to iTunes and give us a five-star rating, please. I'll take a four-star rating. It'll hurt me a little bit, but five-star is always awesome. Uh, leave us a review. If I've said anything that's done to, out there that's uh, helped you or motivated you or just give you a little nudge in the right direction, uh, the best way to thank us is to give us a review out there. And uh, if you have any questions, email me at curdhoss at gmail.com, and I'm going to talk to you guys later.